Hi, today I want to talk about a big variety of products provided by Dear Reality. This tutorial is separated into two parts. In the first part I want to talk to you about ambisonics in general. In the second part I am trying to give you a good overview of the broad palette of plugins provided by Dear Reality. But first let's talk about spatial audio, the so-called ambisonics. Basic principle of ambisonics is to describe the whole three-dimensional sound field theoretically at a single point in space. All directional information at this point is captured by a suitable microphone, for example a four-capsule first-order microphone, like the Sennheiser MBO VR mic. The captured signal is decoded later into multi-channel loudspeaker signals or a binaural stereo signal for headphones. The important thing to note is that there is no need to consider the actual details of the reproduction system during the original recording or synthesis. The two parts of the system, the encoding and decoding, are completely separate. This gives you the ability to position a sound object all around the listener, behind and front, to the right, to the left and below or above. The power of this concept is that these loudspeaker independent signals may be manipulated to drive a variety of loudspeaker arrangements. This means ambisonics encodes direction as a kind of property of the recorded sound. In the beginning there are only A format signals, because these signals emanate from the microphones. A format signals are not used in signal processing or transmission, so they are only used for recording within the ambisonic system. You get a straight Output of four channels, separate audio, and normally every company has got their own decoder software with the microphone. With this decoder software, you can decode your four channel A format to B format. There are two main B format standards in Ambisonics the first Malham, the so called FUMA, the B format FUMA lists the channel with the order WXYC. And the W channel is like the center channel and it's attenuated by 3 dB. And there's the MBX format. It lists the channel in the order WYZX. The channels use the Schmidt semi normalization SN3D. For first order ambisonics, that means the four channels have uniform gain normalization. So no component will ever exceed the peak value of the zeroth order component for single point sources. So you can imagine an omnidirectional microphone at the center of the capsules and with the SN3D normalization you guarantee that the peak value of this one omnidirectional microphone in the mid would always have the same level, the same level as the sum of the other three dimensions. Facebook and YouTube use for their 360 degree videos the MBX format, it's more common and widespread. In ambisonics there are different orders. Starting with the first order you have four channels which are totally different from the four channels of the A format. You have front, back, left, right, up and down and the middle and then you have a more smaller separation and then you get a better separation of each direction the higher order you go. And of course the more channels you will have. So second order ambisonics have nine channels and third order 16. Okay, what is binaural audio? Binaural audio is a 3D illusion in your head. It's made possible by simulating the sound sources going through your ears and bones, the so-called head-related transfer function. And depending on the sound source, your left and right ears get very different information, not only through the ears, but also through your whole bones and body. And to find out how the sound signal is filtered by the diffraction and reflection properties of the head, pinna and torso until it reaches the auditory system, people try to create a normalized head to measure the deviation by the ears and body. The best known head is the Neumann KU100. It's a binaural dummy head microphone and its HRTF has been used to create the Sennheiser, the Zen, the Sennheiser MBO Orbit HRTF format. And that's also the reason why binaural audio is not made for listening via stereo speakers. Although, in general, the playback is possible, you face strong colorations of the sound depending on your playback system. The reason for, the reason for this crosstalk is, a large proportion of the left speaker signal is going to the right ear of the listener. Another typical problem that occurs with binaural 3D audio is the front-back confusion, our natural hearing uses small micro-movements of our head to optimize the localization of a sound source. 
and our eyes help us. If we see the object, we get less confused. Thus, a VR game seems to be just a perfect platform. With Dear VR or any special audio plugins, you can create a perfect illusion of an acoustic scene in a real world. For a perfect simulation, you need the information of the 3D spatial location, the distance, the motion, the reflections and the reverb. The Dear VR product range reaches from the free plugins Micro and Emmy Micro with the free spatial connect adapter plugin to use a head tracking device, such as VR goggles like the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift S. Of course, these plugins come in all sorts of plugin formats, such as AAX, audio units, and VST2 and 3. And a quick tip up front, if you're using Nuendo and want to play back with your headphones, for binaural listening, use always stereo tracks, even when working with mono sources. The first free plugin is Deria Micro, a free spatial 3D panel. It's a joint production of Deer Reality and Sennheiser Ambio and the successor of Sennheiser's Ambio Orbit plugin. It's only suited for headphone playback. You can position your stereo or mono sources in the spatial sound field around you. The parameter azimuth gives you control over the horizontal plane and elevation over the vertical position of your audio source in degrees. Using the width knob, you can adjust the perceived stereo width of your stereo sources in the three-dimensional space. You can adjust the room size, choose between five different wall, ceiling and floor materials and adjust the reflection level. If you find your source is losing its tonal quality, you can find the optimal balance between the 3D perception and the overall tonal preservation with the focus parameter of a maximum spectral balance of your mix. DRVR Micro offers you the same advanced HRTF filters as Dear Reality's high-end binauralizer plugins DRVR Pro and DRVR Music. For the output, you can choose between Dear Reality's advanced HRTFs or Sennheiser Ambient Orbit HRTF which is based on the Neumann KU100 dummy head. DOVR Ambi Micro allows sound engineers to mix, monitor and render ambisonic tracks right out of the box. With support of higher order ambisonic formats, as well as multiple binaural output monitoring for Facebook 360 and YouTube VR. With the Spatial Connect adapter, you can monitor your recordings head tracked with DOVR Ambi Micro. As the input signal, you can use the drop-down menu to switch between three different input formats. A format MBO, which is exclusively for recordings done with the Sennheiser MBO VR mic. A simple A format for any other type of first order ambisonic microphones or any B format up to third order in the MBX format. Of course, your selected track format has to support the equivalent amount of audio channels. For a start, you can always select third order ambisonics. And if you decide to go lower, you can always do and your channel configuration stays the same. With the Spatial Connect adapter, you can monitor your recording head track with the OER MB Micro. If you want to try out MB Micro with different recordings, I would recommend to check out on the Rode Ambisonic Sound Library. For instance, when you look for a specific field like, um, let's say, nature, um, you will find some recordings which are all free and here are like Strong Winds in the Forest, done by Richard Devine, a Waterfall, Three Feet Above, and yeah, whatever you need. It's worth to take a look and to try out with the MB Micro plugin. There are some tutorial videos by Dear Reality. I will link them down in the description so you can find all your information on one page. Dear VR Monitor is a music reference studio solution for your headphones. You can choose from all common speaker setups from stereo to 9.6.1 or 13.1. So it's possible to mix immersive audio like Dolby Atmos in your home. With the ambient slider, you set the amount of diffusion starting with neutral until it gets widely diffused. With focus, you can select the right step between overall coloration and localization. That's what's written in the manual. And if you look here, clarity and localized, I don't get why those are opposites. Well, anyways, the OER monitor is a reference room system in your headphones. So you select what kind of room you want to listen in to be in. And for easy comparison, you can check your mix, how it would suit in 11 different acoustic environments like club, car, cinema, living rooms and so on. I'm missing one thing and um, if you change the preset here, the ambience and focus slider 
sticks to one position and I have a feeling it would be nice to save this accordingly to your mixed room that you would like. Like with any other plugin, you can use the Spatial Connect adapter for DRI Monitor for head tracking support. The DRI Music plugin is made for sound engineers who want to create a different sensation while making their mixes available to listen with the headphones. You have an XYZ pad to position an audio track anywhere in the 3D sound stage. You can define the distance, the horizontal plane, the view with the vertical plane, and you can choose between 18 virtual acoustic environments in which to place your tracks, including a concert hall, church, stage, drum rooms, and all that would be suited for musical recordings. And then you can change the shape and dimensions and the texture of your selected virtual space with using the controls that adjust the size, the damping, and the balance of early reflections and the diffused reverb. Deria Music outputs different kinds of immersive audio. You can output binaural audio for headphones. You can output four-channel first-order ambisonic in the MBX format for YouTube or Facebook 360-degree video formats. You can also choose to be using the virtual environment as conventional reverbs in stereo format. And DOE R Pro is obviously the bigger sister of DOE R Music. It looks the same, but you have more details of the reflections. And when you go into the virtual acoustics, you get 45 additional location presets for post production, like cinema, alley, warhouse, car, bathroom, and some more rooms and halls. If you're using Deary R for a computer game in a Unity or soon it's even possible for the Unreal Engine, you can activate Occlusion. It will adjust the sound of an object being blocked by another virtual object in the line of sight to the listener. So if you're behind a wall and behind the wall is a sound, of course in the real world the wall would block the sound. And it also features real-time oralization, so it's perfect to mix directly in virtual reality with the Spatial Connect. As you already heard, there's the Spatial Connect adapter. It's free, it comes with the main installer for Spatial Connect, but you don't need a license for that. In Spatial Connect, you can control positions of sound sources simply by pointing at in the virtual space around you. There's a nice video tutorial for the interactive workflow, and there's another video and they show you how it would look to mix in a virtual reality. Using the VR controller, you can write automation, move the objects around you, and there's a minimap, and there's a slider, and you can write the automation data, and even change, for instance, the rooms of any object. Any sound source you hear is a representation of one DOVR Pro track in your DAW. You can control all the parameters you can control in the DAW. I will link the video so you can listen to it. How can you bring your spatial automations from the DAW into the interactive Unity world? Well, there's this workflow here and it shows you exactly what to do. You just have to record your automations and then you get a .dr file where all the automation files are stored. And then you import the prefabs into your Unity scene. And if you name your tracks accordingly to the automation files, everything will work just fine. And when you want to adjust your automations later, you can do this just inside Unity. There are the same 45 room and location presets as in DOE Pro. And you can activate real-time oralization. So Unity calculates in real-time every reflection based on the object's position and the analyzed room geometry. And of course, it will include occlusion. You also get a reverb mixer plugin, and that means you can put plenty of reverbs on one audio source, like traditional sand buses, but even now in a game engine. And so you can save a bit of CPU performance. Okay, there's a wide variety of free or non-free products available, and these are only DRR. So, of course, if you only want to make like a nice binaural track for headphones, you can use Ableton as well with the free Envelope for Max plugins. But if you want to export higher formats, like I said, for 360 degree videos, you need the B format and thus you need a DAW that supports multi-channel formats.
So the most of the plugins are available in any format. So you can use Logic, Pro Tools, Reaper, whatever you like. But if you want to use Spatial Connect, then you're down to use Reaper or Nuendo by now. And one last thing, uh, it's already announced. FMOD with specialization for Unity and the Unreal Game Engine is about to come. Okay, I hope you do have now a better comprehension of when to use which plugin. Thanks for watching and enjoy creating your worlds of sound. Let me know what you created. Bye bye.